Welcome to Thunderdome. Dad is calling. Won't you pick up? So that wasn't weird, was it? Welcome all to another lovely episode of the Lamb Lamb Dino Jam. So normally I wouldn't talk about anything in the news because the news doesn't really interest me. But today I wanted to discuss politics. Not the election, but rather Governor Elliot Spitzer. So for those of you who don't know, and thus don't have eyes, ears, and can't read braille, Governor Spitzer resigned this morning after a long ordeal, and by long I mean three days, involving an investigation into a prostitution ring which the governor may or may not have been a part of. Basically, the guy goes from being governor on Monday, okay, and then this comes out, and then today he resigned. So he went from governor of New York State to criminal charges potentially in three days. It's kind of like if I went from me today to dead on Friday. Pretty weird, huh? Some sources have said that the governor may have spent upwards of $80,000 $80,000 $80,000 on such prostitution activities in the past 10 years. That's a lot of money. That's equivalent to my entire college education plus $40,000 menu items. That's a shitload of fruit and yogurt parfaits. So many might ask, what are the children of the country going to say when they hear that a governor partook in such activities? Seeing that one of our presidents kind of did this too. So, I pose this to you. Here's the top four things that I learned from Governor Elliot Spitzer. Number one, always use a voice modulator when dealing on the phone in illegal activities. Number two, Use a friend's bank account when dealing with pimps and hoes. Number three, don't get busted. And number four, absolute power gets you laid. Absolutely. In other news, I leave for England in three days and I'm pretty damn excited about it. Final thought for the day? I think orgies should be considered community service, so that way I can write it off as a tax break if I ever had one. Catch y'all on the flip side.